Sea of Thieves is a simple game. Your character and your ship is really no different from any other player's ship in terms of firepower. Every weapon does the same amount of damage as every other person's weapon, there is no leveling up system, there is no power level of armor, and it's one of its greatest charms. Everyone is on an even playing field. But what if it wasn't? I didn't really die. Now, although Sea of Thieves does in fact put everyone on the same playing field, there are certain benefits that other crews can have over another vessel. More ammo supplies, better food reserves, more cursed cannonballs, all can change the tide of battle, but are all completely useless if the crew makes stupid mistakes, like running a reaper's mark whilst doing a tall tale. But all of that said, it's entirely possible for a day one player to defeat a person who has been playing for over 1,000 hours. And don't deny it, you egotistical pr- Now let's move on to the click uh, sorry, I mean the thumbnail, the reason why you're likely here. Potions? In Sea of Thieves? Are you mad? Mad. Well, firstly, did ye know that potions were originally an idea for the game many moons ago? The upstairs for the Order of Souls tent was originally going to be a potion store, complete with a store salesperson. In fact, in the alpha of Sea of Thieves, the upstairs was open, and this decor could be seen within. And I was going to show you this, but because I'm a Sea of Thieves partner, I was asked not to. The potions were in fact going to be added to the game in its early stages of development, alongside more ship types and more sea monsters and hip reg. But the idea was later can for the ability to cook food to give you a heal over time stat, which is honestly a very helpful feature and something that is overlooked by a lot of players. In other online service games, your team is boiled down into three basic categories. A tank, who takes the damage and controls the environment, a healer, who heals the team and also controls the environment, and a DPS, who is the damage dealer, who gets the enemy's health pulled down as much as possible and is also supposed to control the environment to supplement the tank, but is too distracted listening to really bad music. Let's go. And it's a similar situation in Sea of Thieves, except this isn't done with a defined player role. On a well-maintained galleon, for example, each player is decided for their own role. The tank and control, who is the helmsman, who is responsible for controlling the ship, spouting orders to turn sails and fixing basic damage. The DPS, who is the cannoneer, whose main job is punching cannons into the other vessel and boarding when the time is right. The healer, who is the bilge rat, who is responsible for fixing most of the damage. And then that one extra guy who just runs around doing everything they can. They're not really defined roles and can shift management at any time, but they still work off the same principle. Each character in Sea of Thieves responsible for each role has the same stats, the same health pool, the same weapon damage, and the same speed. So why not have potions in place to better define these roles? Or if you're just a solo slooper, given the ability to change your roles whenever you want. Potions could be an extra supplement for the game that gives a player a temporary buff to a certain stat. As an example, a green potion will temporarily increase a player's health pool for around 10 seconds, which is just enough time to get on board without getting one blundied, or able to take on a broadside of cannonballs without getting face planted, a yellow potion that temporarily increases a player's speed and interaction speed, being able to dash away with treasure in hand or fix holes in your ship twice as fast, a purple potion which temporarily fights off the effects of cursed cannonballs, and a similar red potion that negates the damage from fire. Each potion would have a small duration of activity, and only one potion can be consumed at a time. The effects of this potion would also be displayed as a kind of coloured aura around the player once they are drunk, to help enemies know exactly what influence they're under, and then be able to change strategy accordingly. Now I know there is currently a few people typing out comments right now about how bad of an idea this is based solely on the couple of examples of the buffs that I have proposed, but these are just examples to put forth the entire idea. It's okay, don't panic, these aren't patch notes. Calm down, Colin. But how would these potions be brought to the game? They would have to be something that is obtainable by every player, to put everyone on an even playing field, like chain shots or cursed cannonballs, and not locked behind commendations or a paywall. Uh, okay. So apart from that one. Well, the idea for potions can be seen throughout all of the game. Potion bottle assets strewed over all of the lands that are only used for decoration right now, but also an abundant supply of unique looking plant life across the seas. Have you ever looked at some of the plants and just thought, this is far too unique to just be scenery? Can I 
pick this up? Well, that's likely because at one stage that was 100% the intention. And this is how potions would be made if the idea ever came into fruition. If you wanted those buffs, you and your crew would have to locate these unique flowers in the world, each coming from a different biome, put them in your inventory, and then cook them up with a chemistry station on your ship, very similar to this device seen at Wanda's Lair. Each combination of flower would brew a different type of potion for you on your crew, which will then give people and an actual reason to go to the Devil's Roar. Further expansion to the adventure mode has always been a good thing for this game. Giving players temporary buffs to certain stats would increase the diversity of player interaction, or just help you out greatly in PvE situations. Plus, on top of that, it'd just be fun running around picking flowers. Wait, did I just say that? Are you fed up with your top-of-the-range console? Or your top-of-the-range gaming PC? Are your frames in Minesweeper causing you a headache? Then worry no more, my little chums. The wonderful people over at Apex Gaming PCs are just what you need to put a smile on your face. The perfect place to craft and build your PC for those of us who don't have the foggiest. Look at little Timmy here. He just got his Apex Gaming PC and he's very happy. I'm very happy. Use code FALCOR at checkout and save yourself some cash. All links are down below. I killed DeMarco.